Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and today we continue with our topic of discussion, nitrogen and its compounds. So we have already discussed the laboratory preparation of nitrogen gas and the properties of nitrogen gas. So I'd like us to briefly uh, look at the uses of nitrogen. And first of all, uh, nitrogen is used in the large scale. Manufacture of ammonia and this process we refer to it as harbor process. So during harbor process. So harbor process is the process that uh, is involved in the large scale manufacture of ammonia and nitrogen is used as one of the raw materials. Two, <coughs> uh, nitrogen is used in light bulbs, in light bulbs, uh, the bulbs that we commonly use due to its inert nature. It is inert, it doesn't uh, uh, oxidize the filaments of the bulb. So because of the inert nature of nitrogen gas, it is used in light bulbs due to its inert nature. It's relatively inert that prevents oxidation of the filament. Oxidation of the filament. And three, uh, nit nitrogen, because of its low uh, boiling point, it is used as a refrigerant. As a refrigerant. Due to its low boiling point very low boiling point is used and this is especially in the storage of semen in the storage of semen for artificial insemination so the storage of semen for artificial insemination requires very low temperature and uh, those very low temperature can be provided by liquid or liquefied nitrogen which has a very low boiling point. So having uh, discussed about nitrogen, its preparation, properties and uses, uh, we are going to next discuss the oxides of nitrogen. And basically, nitrogen has three common oxides. Number one, we have what is called nitrogen one oxide. So these are now the compounds of nitrogen. These are not now pure nitrogen, but they are nitrogen compounds. They are nitrogen oxides. So we have nitrogen one oxide, which is written, whose formula is that. We also have nitrogen 2 oxide whose formula is indicated there and then we have nitrogen 4 oxide so basically those are the oxides of nitrogen that we have, compounds of nitrogen and oxygen. So we'll start with the first one, and this is nitrogen one oxide. Uh, this nitrogen one oxide, <coughs> uh, in its preparation, 
uh, it is prepared in the laboratory by heating ammonium nitrate by heating ammonium nitrate uh, in form two under the topic of salts there is a place where we learned about action of heat on nitrates and we saw that ammonium nitrate as one of the nitrates uh, decomposes on heating what we call thermal decomposition uh, to form nitrogen one oxide so you can see that nitrogen one oxide is prepared in the laboratory by heating ammonium nitrate to decomposition ammonium nitrate to decomposition so uh, we are saying that uh, ammonium nitrate it undergoes thermal decomposition to produce nitrogen one oxide plus water nitrogen one oxide is a gas so if we balance those are two four hydrogens and three oxygen one plus two and that equation is uh, balanced and then we can say that nitrogen one oxide is collected over warm water is collected over warm water because it is soluble in cold water so once we have prepared the gas nitrogen one oxide we are supposed to collect it over warm water and that is the reason that it is soluble in cold water so if you use cold water you may not collect much gas so let's see the diagram that is involved in the preparation of nitrogen one oxide So we have heat, we heat ammonium nitrate, then it's collected over warm water because you said that the gas is soluble in uh, cold water, then we have nitrogen one oxide. <coughs> So this is the laboratory preparation of nitrogen one oxide. So we should put the flask in a slanting position uh, to make sure that uh, the water that is produced does not flow back into the hot flask because if it flows back into the hot flask it would break or it would, it would cause cracking of the flask so basically it is important that uh, we place the flask in a slanting position so that uh, the water that is produced does not flow back
So we are going to have an assignment on nitrogen one oxide. So the assignment So the assignment, explain how nitrogen one oxide is prepared in the laboratory. Two, write an equation for the reaction. And three, explain why the flask is placed in a slanting position uh, during preparation. During preparation. So we'll stop there. Until next time, goodbye. Thank <music> you.